Hey guys, Executor here, bringing you this gun guide video for Call of Duty World War 2. This time we're looking at the PPSH-41. This is a submachine gun, it's one of the earlier submachine guns you will unlock in the game. I'm going to talk about the attachments, I'm going to compare it to the other submachine guns, and I'm going to talk about what play styles and what classes you can set up with this gun. So let's get into it. First of all, let, let's look at the attachments. You have lens sight. No, I'm going to say this, that this gun does not need a sight whatsoever. The iron sights on this gun is perfect. You do not need a sight on this gun. So using a sight on this gun, it's a waste of an attachment. You don't need it. Quick draw, aim down sights faster. No. For me, for my kind of play style, I need quick draw right my kind of play style is i will be rushing to a spot and then i aim down sides and i approach that um room or corner or whatever it is so that fits my play style as i said you don't need a side so reflex side is a waste of an attachment as well grip reduces weapon recoil while aiming down sides now this gun has a very high recall the kick is crazy it has crazy kick so you need grip if there is one attachment that you have to use at any given time it is going to be grip you have to use grip on this um this gun right to stabilize it steady aim better accuracy when firing from the hip this is for a different kind of a play style I will talk about this kind of setup in a bit. This is if you're going to be um, like not really worrying about aiming down sides and being more calculated in your approach. You just want to run around and spray people. Then this would suit that kind of play style. I personally don't go for that kind of play style. My play style is different. Full metal jacket. <laughs> no when I saw this attachment I had to scratch my head because I was wondering why would you need FMJ on a submachine gun right normally you don't run around the map um, wall banging people or trying to shoot UAVs out of the air with your submachine gun right so why would you need FMJ increases damage through surfaces extra damage against streaks you know um I don't know I don't know I'm, we're gonna skip past this one very quick <laughs> all right advanced rifling increases damage fall off no the PPSH is not a gun right off the bat for um, medium range gunfights this gun is more geared towards in the face action close quarter combat combat point the hawk kind of gameplay fast pace um face to face face off not for like medium range it's up close and personal kind of gun so this is where advanced rifling can benefit you you have the the ability to run and gun you know spray people drop two three guys but if you come face to face with somebody that has that that that's at a far further distance then you have a better chance as opposed to not having the advanced rifle rifling equipped so this is a good attachment for this gun if that's your kind of play style extended mag this does not um in adds to the functionality of your gun like it, it does increase the stats but what it does increase is your weapons magazine size no I would not use this and sacrifice let's say like a grip or a quick draw because you can only use two attachments anyway so I wouldn't see myself using an extended mag and I, I don't think I've picked up a gun or I see somebody running extended mag on this PPSH because that would not be a wise choice to sacrifice a grip which is a must and let's say advanced rifling or quick draw 
to run extended mag but hey if that's your play style and you rather to use extended mag let me know in the comment section below and we can talk about it rapid fire this one i kind of scratched my head but not as bad as the fmj because i was thinking why you need rapid fire on a gun at smg that has a very high rate of fire to begin with at eight right and you're gonna bump it up to 11. i i don't see honestly put in rapid put in rapid fire on a gun is supp supposed to equal equal more um people dying quicker because you know you're dumping more bullets in, in in their direction they're getting hit with more bullets so they should die quicker that wasn't really the case when i use rapid fire so i can't say all out that yes rapid fire will make you get kills quicker i cannot say it i cannot recommend rapid fire i can recommend rapid fire for a play style that you're not really um thinking about playing tactical you're more like into running around the map strafing left and right dancing around people firing from the hip that's how you would need rapid fire but then you're gonna be in problem because when you're dancing around people firing from the hip you run and you run in rapid fire more bullets are being wasted not hitting the targets so if you're going to be using rapid fire, then you would have to go for extended mag. But for that kind of play style where you're dancing around people fine from the hip, you would need steady aim. And I don't see how you're going to choose between these two, these three, right? Because you can only use two attachments. So that's a tricky setup. You you got you have to give and take. Something gotta give, man. You can't have your cake and eat it too. So anyway, I will talk about that play style in a bit. Let's compare the PPSH to the other submachine guns in Call of Duty World War Two. Right. So right off the bat, they give you the grease gun. This gun, <laughs> it's a bad gun. I do not like it. I do not like this gun one bit. It's crap, it's whack, it's garbage, it's rubbish. You can find the worst things to say about a gun, you can talk about this. It's not like that bad, but when it comes to an SMG, the fire rate is very, very slow. Right? You can't have a, an SMG with a fire rate of 5, how is that going to work? Anyway, let's compare it to the PPSH. Damage is 6 on the Grease Gun, damage is 6 on the PPSH, good. Range is 6 on the Grease Gun, range on the PPSH is 5, which is not so bad, it's only 1 point. Accuracy on the Grease Gun is 8, accuracy on the PPSH, PPSH is 6, it's 2 point down, but not that bad. Fire rate on the Grease Gun is 5, while on the PPSH is 8. No, remember guys, we're playing core. No, this is core. There is no hardcore. And the universal rule when you're playing core is that you need a gun with a high rate of fire or and a high damage. Right? Now these two guns have the same amount of damage, but the PPSH has a high rate of fire of 8. If you would need to you would to get the grease gun on the level of the ppsh you would need to attach things which that that's the only to get it on the level of the ppsh so you won't um you will have to sacrifice some attachments so <laughs> it's a no-brainer guys ppsh hands down grease gun you go die somewhere anyway we're moving on type 100 when i saw this gun and i looked at the stats I was like, oh wow, if the PPSH is this good, imagine when I get this Type 100. <laughs> Sadly guys, that wasn't the case. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but it, it's, it's, it's not, it's not that good. I know, well I, I know what happened, the fire rate is too low. But I'll get into that in a bit. Let's compare them. 
Damage on the PPSH is 6. Damage on the P uh, Type 100 is 5. Right away, that's like, oh my. You, you, you're trading off an extra damage. And remember, we're playing core. Alright, PPSH range is 5. While the Type 100 range is 7. Yeah, I get that. That's good. That's good. Accuracy on the PPSH is 6. While, while accuracy on the Type 100 is only one more point. 1 to 7, right? Okay. Fire rate on the PPSH is 8. While the fire rate on the Type 100 is 6. Honestly, does it not feel like 6? It felt like 5. It felt like the Grease Gun. That's the honest truth to me. I don't know if you guys have been using it and, and, and are effective with, effective with it. But honestly, I do not like it. So that's it for me hands down is the ppsh for the time being is the best smg in call of duty world war 2 i haven't unlocked the wafe 28 yet when i unlock it i will do a comparison with the wafe 28 and the ppsh and i'll let you guys know what i think but for the time being plus the wafe 28 you will unlock it very um um later on so you you, you will have to be using an SMG, right? So the SMG between the Grease Gun, PBSH, and Type 100 is hands down, no questions asked, PPSH 4-1. No, let's, let, let's talk about some classes you can set up. Me personally, I go for Quick Draw and Grip. Why? Grip is a must. You need Grip on this submachine gun quick draw aim down sight faster i my kind of play style i will be rushing and then i go to a spot i aim down sight and i do a sweep in the room or wherever or if i see somebody i will aim down sight to get them so i can have a more pinpoint accuracy on my aim and i can um sway my gun from side to side and hit them right i can stray from side to side and hit them and get and get the kill which i usually do good with the ppsh with this class setup right for people that are not into aiming down sight and they're just running around dancing around people you know just praying and praying this is a class you will set up you would need steady aim and rapid fire right and you will just run around spraying and praying that's that's for that kind of gameplay that's that's it but honestly i don't see that being very effective i rather go with quick draw and grip and that's my class setup that's my recommendation for the ppsh 41 in call of duty world war 2 for the basic training i go with hustle why reload faster and while sprinting you need to be able to reload faster. You're in a gunfight. You, you, you let off a whole clip. You might get one. There's another one there. Um, he's hit or whatever. You need to take over. Reload. Get back into the action. Clean up the mess. You move on. Next target. Right? So you need to... This, this is what I use. And if you're going to use the grip and the quick jaw... You need reload faster. Hustle. Basic division. I'll do a video about the basic division at another time. I'll go through all of them and tell you what I think about all of them. So stay tuned for that video as well. Sidearm. It's up to you. I don't go for my sidearms much. But it's good to have as a backup to, to switch. If you run out of bullets, you can just switch quickly. Hit them off with the, with the sidearm. Get the kill. Clean up. You know, you switch back, you reload, you move on. If you run out of bullets completely, then you can just pick up another gun, you move on to the next target. Concussion grenade. Honestly, I was using the frag grenade when I first started out. I wasn't being very effective with it. Why? Sometimes, yes, I would cook it. I would cook it and these kind of stuff. For example, um, say I run up on a room or whatever and there's some guys in there and I see them I take fire they take fire I back up to, to heal and to decide what's my next move quickly and then I say alright I throw a grenade in there on them I cook it 
but, but but the time it takes to cook the grenade they already figured out my play right if they're a smart player well usually i've come across some decent players on call of duty right if you take fire from somebody and and they take fire and they back up obviously they're gonna try and flank you or they're gonna toss a grenade in there so you need to move don't sit there waiting <laughs> don't sit there waiting on the grenade like you're waiting on a christmas present from 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 somebody you know <laughs> you will get that present and you will die so <laughs> yeah so don't do that and um so i wasn't being very effective with a frag grenade but with the concussion grenade now it has a high it has a more uh, a larger radius and you just toss it and it explodes and it stuns them they can't see whatever you hop in now and start spraying and praying and clean up the mess and you're on to the next target so that's why i recommend the tactical concussion grenade so that's my class setup for this class guys ppsh quick draw grip basic training hustle PO8 sidearm and British N69 concussion grenade. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment in the section below if you use this class and it worked for you or if it didn't work for you, let me know what you think. If you have another setup, let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please show me some love and subscribe, man. I'll be bringing you a lot more Call of Duty World War 2 videos tips tricks gun guides map division i'll be talking about everything so stay tuned guys be safe it's your boy executor i'm out peace